First of all, it's really good to be here at uh, Cleveland State University. When I was coming into the, the airport, there was a big advertisement uh, sign. It's uh, uh, affordable education, I think I said. Yeah, <laughs> affordable. It's affordable to go to school here. And uh, so I was hoping because of that, that there'll be a lot of people here that uh, come from all walks of life. And education is very important to me, my, <clears throat> to me and my family. And it was really good to see one of the members of the American Indian Movement here. Uh, was it Ohio American Indian Movement chapter? And I asked uh, Michael if they can put a chair up because I was going to kind of do a fireside chat with everyone and just sit there. But I was thinking that I'm going to leave that seat there as a, as a memory of a lot of our leaders that have passed away, our leaders in struggle. Because that's what I want to talk about is struggle. As you heard uh, from BJ, we work with a lot of frontline communities. Frontline communities in struggle. In struggle fighting for their lives, literally. And when I was called to task to, to be a spokesperson of this young organization called Indigenous Environmental Network in the early 1990s, I was kind of standing the same way like this. What, what, what am I going to talk about? What am I going to talk about with the elders and the youth who were the founders of this network? Because they're coming together with really a critical analysis of struggle as native, as indigenous peoples. What do I do? What do I say? And in our native ways, whenever we're at that place, we don't quite know what we're going to say. We give it to the Spirit. I don't know if many of you know who we are as indigenous peoples of these lands and territories, who we really are. I don't know if your public education system taught you about our many indigenous native nations and who we were and who we are through all these years and hundreds of years of colonization and all the other terminologies that we use. Along with colonization, as many of you know who have studied the U.S. and Canadian relationships with the Aboriginal, with Indigenous peoples. It's a relationship of struggle. Militarization, imperialism, colonization, death. So I'm assuming that a lot of you know a snapshot of a lot of that history. That's why I'm saying I want to talk about struggle. Because that's our history that we, we work with. 